what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here which you probably are because everyone's new here I am so happy that you decided to join me today today I have something very special to play with let's get started Oh my god, okay, okay. We're just gonna jump right on in because I've been waiting to film this video well, ever since she announced these brushes. I knew I was going to buy them. If you don't recognize this box, this is the Furless and It's Likely Makeup brush collab. It is a vegan and cruelty-free 20-piece professional brush set and I have been dying to get my grubby little hands all over this box. If you don't know Jordi or It's Likely Makeup, up here on YouTube. She is a YouTuber who specializes in cruelty-free makeup. I actually am quite new to her channel. I sort of stumbled across it only like a few months ago. I just love her style so much. I think she is very, very unique. I sort of was just getting into her as she was starting to drop hints that she was doing this brush collab and I had never heard of Furless before either but I went and searched them up and found that they were vegan and cruelty free brushes and other accoutrements. I was instantly intrigued. I thought it's high time I get a new set of brushes. I've been working with the same mismatch brush that I have accumulated over a lifetime of doing makeup. I think it's time. I think it's time I treat myself and and purchase something that I know will work for me in a professional setting. This seemed like the perfect pairing of both influencer and company. Let's open the box. I'm here. I'm ready. So they come in this amazing gold embossed box with furless and this beautiful little bug here with its likely makeup all around it like a sunbeam. Obviously as a consumer I super super appreciate it when the influencer and the company really pay close attention to detail. Inside you get this little insert with Jordi's face all over it. It says, hi guys, Jordi here. Let me share some of my favorite brushes from the set. And she just gives you a couple of her favorite makeup tips on the bottom here. And on the back of this insert, it just lists every single brush on here, including its use, which is super, super helpful because I look at a brush set like this and for me, it's just a little intimidating because there's so many of them. I'm going to actually be following this quite religiously today. I want to try and use as many as possible. Inside the box you get this, the beautiful brush belt which I am so excited to actually use in practice. It unfolds like this, the furless logo and it's likely makeup embossed on the front and then you flip it open and these are the brushes, all 20 of them. I have not touched them yet at all. We're gonna be discovering all of these together today. It's really, really exciting. They have the It's Likely Makeup on the side here in gold, and then on the other side, it gives you the title of the brush. It is a super classy as hell brush. It feels really good in your hand. Guys, if you could feel how soft these are. I am just super excited to get them all over my face. So I think without further ado, we're just gonna jump right on in. So I think today we're gonna keep it pretty simple. We're gonna do foundation and focus on the skin a lot today. And I don't know, I'll do something with my eyebrows. I'll figure it out as we go. But we're gonna keep it pretty simple because I really wanna focus on how the brushes perform and being a foundation brush noob, I really wanted to try my hand at it. I'll do my best to use um, as many brushes as I can in this video. Of course, I will spend other videos subsequently using other brushes as well. Start by priming my skin with my Smashbox primer water as per usual. I've already cleansed, serumed, and moisturized as well. It goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I did not get these said to be, I don't get said PR. I'm just going to take my CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir foundation, give myself a couple of pumps, and I'm also going to combine it with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I've been favoring dewy skin lately. We are going to take the Pro 4F brush and start blending, I guess. It's really soft. I mean, it feels really nice on the skin. Wow, that was really quick. It's not streaky, like, at all. So far, so good. And it's a totally different finish. With the Clarisonic or any Sonic brush, 
the foundation doesn't get absorbed by the brush so it just gets sort of like placed onto your skin which sometimes can leave you with a lot more product than you wanted and it does take a little while to blend because the bristles are a bit more coarse than this and then of course the beauty blender is going to be sucking up a lot of product not leaving streaks on your face this kind of feels like the best of both those things i've never used a brush to apply concealer so this is a whole new world so the pro on is apply and blend concealer under eye area around the nose and on the face. It's got a bit of a dome shape. It's actually quite stiff, which I wasn't expecting. I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Highlight areas of my face and we'll just take this guy and go right on in. The tip of it feels really good for getting into the areas that you wouldn't normally be able to get, like right here. It doesn't seem to be taking away too much product. I really like it for around the nose, right in your inner corner. It feels like a small brush for a large surface area. Other than that, I like it. And with those spots, you can kind of way more easily blend around the spot and not take the product off the spot. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go back in with my 4F and buff out the edges. Next up, we have to powder which I believe is the Pro 3F, this fluffy guy. It will create a smooth and even complexion by dusting your face with your fave powder toppings, which kind of sounds like you're making yourself into a cake, and I'm not mad. I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me. It's a bit difficult getting under the eyes, but I'm sure there's another tool better for that in here somewhere. I actually did a pretty good job of setting the under eye, even though it's quite large. Let's continue setting the face. My skin is dry now, so it is distributing powder quite lightly and evenly, and it's not taking off product underneath. I feel like my skin, though it is pretty full coverage, looks skin-like. I feel way less cakey than I normally do. It's really pretty. I really love the direction which my skin is going. I'm really happy with how this is turning out so far. Famous last words. I'm going to do something with my eyebrows off camera, and then we will get back into it. No word of lie, in the middle of doing my brow, my pencil ran out. I'm going to have to complete the rest of this brow with a pomade and I figured while I am here, why not use one of the brushes in the collection to do so. I'm going to take my dip brow and finish off the rest of my brows on camera for you to enjoy. I'm going to take the Pro 7M, which is just her angle liner brush to dip into this pomade, give myself a couple of extra brow strokes. It's quite dense, so it has the right amount of stiffness to it, and that's perfect for what you need to create hair strokes. And then I'm just going to clean up underneath the brows using the Pro 2M, which is this teeny tiny detail brush. I saw her using it in one of her videos to cut her crease, so I feel like it will be good for cutting our brow. I feel like it's doing really well to get into this arch area right here. All of these brushes have this really sort of soft but precise feeling to them. They give me the lines and the precision that I need, but it's not harsh. I was not expecting to love that brush as much as I did for cleaning up my brows. I just threw on some concealer on my lids and then I'm going to take the Pro 4E which is sort of this eyeshadow brush with a bit of an angle and just sort of set my concealer. Well I like the shape for the top of the eyelid. You can kind of just get right under that brow bone. I want to keep it super super simple on the eye. Nothing too too fancy. I think I'm just going to throw down a crease shade just to add a little bit of definition and for that and this is something I've been really looking forward to she has been raving about this eyeshadow brush since uh, she announced her collaboration and this is the Pro 7E which Jordi says is the perfect eyeshadow blending brush for the crease and I have been waiting for this moment so I'm gonna take Jaclyn Hill and take some of my favorite crease shades and uh, go to town I can't even begin to describe to you guys how soothing and not scratchy and rough this brush feels on your eyeball. 
brushes. I have been so used to blending brushes that have just the scratchiest fibers and they do kind of irritate your eye after a while. It just feels so <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, they, they're not playing around. I just went ahead and did a couple of things off camera that you don't need to be privy to. I just did my liner and lashes and put some brow gel through my brows and I think that was it. I swear to God, the NYX matte liquid liner is out to get me. I'm going to just take my butter bronzer and go back in with the Pro 3F and lightly bronze the fuss. Wait, come here, give me your hand. Uh, what? Give me your hand. Oh, it's like an angel's pubic hair. Thank I you. Like Thank you for your input. I'm just gonna do a little bit of soft contour today because I would be remiss if I weren't to try everything in this brush set. So I think what I'm going to do, because I prefer angled brushes to do more precise contouring, I'm going to take the Pro 5F. I could have used the Pro 2F as well, but I think the Pro 5F will suit me better. I'm going to take my Pro 5F, dip it into the contour powder, and just sort of deepen up. This brush just outperformed my MAC 168. I just feel like a soft blended goddess. To contour my nose a tiny bit, I'm going to take the Pro 2E, which is less dense than its brothers and sisters, but I think that is for a purpose. It says I can use this to contour down the sides of the nose, so I'm going to do just that. I'm going to use the Pro 2F, which is just a small powder brush, to run some loose setting powder underneath my cheekbones and also along the sides of my nose, just to sort of like bake. And my face really doesn't feel dry at all. It just feels like I'm not really wearing a whole lot of makeup at all. Everything so far with like the distribution of all the products, it just feels really, just feels really soft and natural, which is a weird thing to say about caking herself full of makeup. Now, what's interesting is that this set comes with a blush brush, but it's not a shape that I would necessarily immediately gravitate toward for blush application. It is the Pro 6F, which as you can see is sort of a flat top brush. It is applying the blush beautifully. Probably because the bristles are so loosely packed that it's distributing the product quite softly. Also, I should point out that not all these brushes are designed to serve one purpose. A lot of them are multifunctional. They say that you can use a lot of these for just different ways of applying certain products in depending on which way you want to apply them or how you're comfortable with them. For a highlighter, there's a couple of different tools that are at my disposal. The first of them being the Pro 5M. I'm gonna take my old friend Master Chrome. Now, there is another brush in here that they said was good for highlight. The Pro 2F that they said that you can use for highlight and or contour. Again, these are multi-purpose brushes, some of them, because they're just sort of a universally good shape for things like powders. So I'm gonna take this one and then use it to get a little more precision. Whoa! I'm using the lightest pressure I can muster and really holding the brush at the end instead of choking too far up on the handle. The farther away from the brush head, the lighter the application. It's nice that the handles give you just a lot of versatility as to how much pressure you want to put behind your brush strokes. Gonna take my Milani baked blush, blend that all together. While I've been doing this video, I also have one of Jordy's videos sort of open and ready at my disposal, just in case I need to go back and refer to something that I remember she was saying about her own brushes because she's been sort of dropping in some tips and tricks using 
putting her own brushes in a multitude of tutorials. I'm going to use the Pro 3M to precisely throw my highlighter into the inner corner. I'm trying to use as many of these as I possibly can today. So I'm gonna take the Pro 8E, which is more of a, almost looks like a fluffy packer brush to put the highlighter on under my brow bone. I think I want to take the Pro 3M, which is a little bit smaller, it's just a dome shader brush, and I'm gonna use that for my nose highlight because I feel like this would be the perfect size. And then take the Pro 2E again to blend. One of my final touches, I think, is just going to be freckles and lashes and lips. And so for freckles, I'm going to take one of her favorite brushes in the set, the Pro 6E. And she said it is perfect for freckles. And we are going to test that out right now. Everything's just going so well. I'm still waiting for the other shoe to drop. I will be topping this look off with some very apropos lashes. Today I will be applying my brand new Luminara lashes from Rouge and Rogue. I have worn them a couple times already. I am absolutely in love with how they feel. They are so comfortable. The lash band is perfect. So I got the Epic Trio and this is one of them. If you are new to Rouge and Rogue and you've never used their lashes before, the Epic Trio is a really great introduction to their lashes and you also save a little bit of money. If you're in the market for some new vegan and cruelty free lashes, Rouge and Rogue is your gal. So I'm going to pop these on off of camera and we will be back to finish off the look. I actually ran out of time before I had to run to rehearsal tonight to uh, close out this video and do an outro for you. So here it is. Here is my face many hours later. Looking surprisingly intact. I actually turned out way less creasy than I thought I would be at this hour of the night. So I figured it was safe enough to come back and film this outro for you guys. Actually, I think my skin looks a little better with a few hours of wear, but I had so much fun exploring and trying out these brushes for the first time. It really is is kind of like opening a present on Christmas morning. They've been put together with incredible attention to detail from packaging to color scheme. I can see how much time and effort has been put into this collection of brushes. Having a full brand new high quality set of brushes was really just quite an experience since I had never had that before and I feel like this collection is kind of an experience. You're not only paying for quality of brushes but you're paying for the aesthetics, you're paying for the packaging, you're paying for how good they feel in your hand, and you're paying for the peace of mind that they are vegan and cruelty free as well. Since you aren't allowed to use any promotional or discount codes on the Furless website with this set of brushes in particular, the whole thing plus shipping came to a total of about $214. If you're looking at it from that point of view, you are paying $10 per brush, which, you know, isn't cheap. I don't necessarily think I would encourage novice makeup users to purchase just this right out of the gate as their first brush set because when you're starting out using makeup you really just need a set that works. I have made my cobbled together brush set work for me for a long time but for someone who is looking to upgrade their makeup collection plus throwing in a really nice brush belt is a huge incentive for someone who might be looking to start makeup as a profession. For me personally, I really did want to give my tool set an upgrade. I think it was the right time for me to make that next step creating a kit for myself because I do do makeup on other people. Sometimes I really do need to have that, that professional look about my services. If you just you know, do makeup for fun. If you're just starting to sort of discover a love for it, that inexpensive set of brushes will give you, you know, the sufficient tools that you need to create looks and to explore your creativity. I saw this set as an investment and I think it will pay off. So evaluate where you are in your makeup journey. If you do want 
that luxurious experience of having a high quality set of brushes that feel amazing on your skin that are so soft that work so beautifully if you have the money to splurge on it and to invest in yourself invest in your brand then get it purchase it just for this look today I used 15 out of the 20 brushes that were in the kit I don't think there is one useless brush in this collection it was obviously curated with a lot of care. Each brush has a specific purpose and a lot of the brushes also have a multitude of uses as well. So I just have to say hats off to Furless and hats off to Jordi. You guys created something that was really useful for the makeup community as a whole and that's not something you see in every single collaboration. I think Furless and Jordi are really really great I hope they continue to work together in the future to create something else. Obviously you guys speak the same language and I think whatever you guys come up with next in the future will be just as thoughtful and just as beautiful. I'm also so so incredibly happy to support Jordi. She is someone who's obviously worked very very hard to get where she is and I think she's also kept her artistic integrity throughout her entire career. Her content is so unique and special. If you aren't subscribed to her already, what are you doing get off this video go find it's likely makeup and go subscribe to her channel you won't be sorry i will leave a link to her channel down below in the description box as well as a link where you can purchase the brush set if you enjoyed the content of this video please make sure to give me a like that helps me out a great deal and while you're enjoying this face why not just uh hit that subscribe button while you're at it i would love to have you become a part of this tiny little corner of YouTube that we have sequestered for ourselves. So come join the fun. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the brush set. If you think they are worth the money, if you have the brush set and you've used them, let me know how they have been working for you. I want to know all your thoughts on these brushes. I always appreciate any and all feedback, especially if it's constructive. <laughs> you can always follow me on other social media. My Instagram is at Madelaide, same way it's spelled here, and my Twitter is at Madelaide. Mad Suds, which is M A D D S U D Z. That is where I will end it today. It has been a long video in the making. I'm so happy that I finally got to demo these brushes for you. I can't wait to keep using them. Please be kind and be generous to everyone you meet out in the world today. And hopefully, I will see you on the next one. Bye.